I can't believe I'm saying this, but forget Yu-Gi-Oh now. I hate it. I hate everything about it. I hate everything about Yu-Gi-Oh now. It bothers me to a T. The 90s was so much easier for Yu-Gi-Oh. I remember getting up in the morning, went, sat down to the TV. Yu-Gi-Oh! Your move! You remember that? You remember that show? How good that show was? Nine seasons running. Damn. Good times. And then finally, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Generation X! You remember that? Remember how good that was? 2005? Woo! What a year! And then Yu-Gi-Oh! just fell flat for me. Yu-Gi-Oh! Five Days. The worst adaptation of Yu-Gi-Oh! ever. And it, did, it, 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 it didn't stop. At that point, when the company got hold of that, it did not stop, and it went from there, and it went downhill for me. Let me show you something real quick. Let me show you some. Let me show you some real quick. The cards I remember, and I don't know if I got it. One. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I got one. One classic. I'm gonna show you one classic. I'm gonna show you three things, right? I'm gonna show you a classic monster, a classic trap, and I'm gonna show you a classic um, spell card. Or back then, magic card. Right? Okay. Hold on for a second. Hold on for a second. Just get in my... Right. Look at this. Look at this. Look at these. Man. Look at these. Oh, no, not that. No, it's not a trap card. Give me a second to buy the trap cards. I know. I know. I have one. It's, uh... Anyone? Random. So give me one, but random. I don't care. Okay. So it's nine X. Uh, give me a second to find one because I know I know I have a random trap card for UL four or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I got a huge. I got uh, the original classics and everything. I know I have a trap card in this somewhere. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Right. I'm gonna show you three classic cards. Classic, classic. That you point. You can't even get them on. I don't care if they're fake. First card we have up, Mystical Hats. Mystical Hats. Everyone remembers when Yugi pulled that out and had to hide his Dark Magician in Mystical Hats. Remember when Yugi first saw the Blue Eyes White Dragon or the Blue Eyes Ultimate White Dragon and how gripped you were on top of your seats and he was there fighting the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon and he couldn't beat it and he used to use the Karibo to beat it and plot armor. Do you remember how good that was in the Duel's Kingdom? Magical Hats was his ace in the hole. What did they do? Banned it. They banned this classic card. Classic. They have destroyed Yu-Gi-Oh. The rules and recommendations have destroyed it. They just destroyed everything it stands for. I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh on my position four two weeks ago. And this, all my, well, back when I had to use the, uh, my, my phone to hotspot it. I was playing this guy, right? He beat me in seven turns. I took all, all my, all my original cards and I put them all in the game. I put them all in there and he beat me with these new cards in seven turns. And I was like, when is it going to be my turn? It, 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 they've destroyed Yu-Gi-Oh so badly. I hate it now. I go home, I watch the original OG Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm talking about uh, Generation X. I'm talking about the OG that came out in the 90s Yu-Gi-Oh. Not that 5D's bull crap. Not that, that one where you have an iPad and you, you scan it, it comes to life. And they, 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 even, they even have the name, sure, sorry. They even have the nerve to change the back of the color of the card. Remember, it used to be a brown background with a swirl and a black circle. They took the color and made it orange. I was like, no. Look at this. Look at, this. Look, look at this. Look at this. OG Dark Magician Red. They don't make these anymore. They don't. This is a classic card. Look at this. Monster Reborn. They banned them. They banned the classic OGs. 
yeah, you can still use them, but the cards are just dog crap now compared to the way they were. They they are they are absolutely dog crap to, to the way they were before. I remember going outside of my at school and playing Yu Gi Oh for hours with my friends at school. Back in the day when we were outside at lunch, we would eat our food outside, we would wash our hands, and we'd be sitting down with our uh, placemats and playing Yu Gi Oh. Let me know the characters and everything. What they look what they did to Yu Gi Oh, man. They destroyed it. Oh, we're trying to make Yu Gi Oh uh, like magic in the gardens. No, it's not magic in the gardens. It's in the goddamn name Yu Gi Oh. It's right there. You can't miss it. How cool was the show when you finally got to see the ball cards? Oh, now they're bad now. There are literally a hundred cards. That you can't use in your deck because they're banned for being in the game. What, 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 uh, why? So here's the thing. I don't understand it. Why ban them? Why? Why not just not... Instead of saying ban them altogether, why not just say you can only use, have one copy of them? Wouldn't that make sense? You've banned so many original cards. People are going up to me saying, that's not Yu-Gi-Oh. And I'm going, yes, it is. This is Yu-Gi-Oh. This is the way it was before. You, you, you so, you, this new generation is so stuck up and uh, using these Benjamin Silliams and, the, and these special summons and these, oh, I, I'll just put these four monsters on top of each other and I'll get this special summon now. And I'll, I'm sat there going, okay, take your time. They do that in four turns and you don't even get your first turn in. And then they have monsters that have effects that destroy magic and trap cards. So what's the point of having them then? Why even have magic and trap cards if they can do that? What is the point of that? Imagine you play Monster Reborn. You can't play that. Two, for two reasons. One, it's banned. And two, oh, you can't play Monster Reborn now. Because my monster has the effect to destroy that. And then there's those synchro summons. Oh, sacrifice two monsters in the graveyard. Put them underneath the cord, mind you, to play the fusion monster. I was like, the whole point of a fusion monster, for example, uh, let's, uh, let, me, let me think of it. Fleet Blue Eyes White Dragons in the Polarization. What did you get? Ultimate Blue Eyes White Dragon. With the attack of 4,500. Now, that doesn't even come close to that anymore. You got monsters that are, have the attack. They literally have to break the laws of physics, and they have the attack of nine thousand. They're a level ten star monster, and they have the attack of nine thousand. You have to sacrifice five monsters on your field to use them. What happens? You just go and well, I'm just going to use the god card then, sacrificing three monsters to get the god card out. How popular were the god cards when they came out? Everyone wanted the god cards. Now, to the point, oh yeah, I'll just sacrifice these three monsters on my first turn to get a little 10 monster out. Like that. There's no, in the, the game is so broken, there's no enjoyment in the game. So when I had the PlayStation, when I had it for the PlayStation 4, I literally, after I had the game, I deleted the game off my account. You know why? Because the game is so broken. The best Yu-Gi-Oh game I've ever played that sticks to its guns and sticks to landing is Yu-Gi-Oh Red Rose or Capsule Monsters. And do you remember how good it was to have it on a Game Boy? How good was Yu-Gi-Oh then? They were killing it on the Game Boy then. And I'm not talking about the Game Boy where it was black and white. I'm talking about the Game Boy Color. I'm talking about the Game Boy Advanced. And now, time's gone on, and they've just destroyed it. Oh, for the new generation. No one cares for the new generation. We care for people from my time, in my generation. I sat down on the duel. It took us 45 minutes just to get the duel started. And he was a rookie. We had a good talk. I went to town, we had a good talk. We were, we were talking about some old school episodes. And all of a sudden, he, he shuffles his deck. I'm thinking, okay, I could take this guy. So I go first, just for funsies. He smokes me. 
in five turns. He has me at 4,000 life points done in seconds. I'm sorry, but that's not how you. In, that's not how that we enjoyed the game back in the day. Back in the day, we would build on Nick up. Back in the day, we'd have 4,000 life points. We, we'd have a calculator. We'd calculate how many life points we lost. We would read our cards and go, that's not how that works. Now it's like, that's how it works. And then you have referees as well. This is not WWE. This is a card game that people are supposed to be able to enjoy. And they can't. They can't. Because this guy was going, okay, so I've got your independent summon. I've got you in your sacral summon. I've got you in this summon. I've got you in that summon. Game. And I'm like, what? what, what? There's no point of playing it now. There's no point of playing it. It's like a it's a game that can be played in five minutes. Did you remember when you were kids and you were sat down outside on a nice day in the sunlight on the table playing with your friends, playing for hours enjoying the game? What happened to those times? Man, they destroyed Yu-Gi-Oh so bad, I don't even get the new cards. Whenever I get a pack of cards and I see the blue like lining on it with the little red like arrow at the top and the blue at the bottom. I don't keep that. I'm like, nope. Oh, it's worth a lot of money. I don't care. Oh, the white cards now. Oh, okay. Looks cool. But you have to, you, 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 you have, to have three of the same card to use it. For example, um, white, shining, blue eyes, white dragon. You can use it, but you have, I have the three cards to use it. Oh, okay. I have to get running with Exodia. Our Exodia is obsolete. There's literally a card out there that there's only one of that has the attack of infinity. It cannot be beaten, but it can't be summoned either. The only way you can use it is you have to sacrifice all your life points but one to Rain Dragon of Ra. And you have to sacrifice all the monsters on your field, meaning all five monsters. And the minute this is on the field, nothing can beat it. It is unbeatable. That's why they only made a few of them. Because they're uh, very rare to get the whole of. And it's like this big, big, like, um... Uh, you ever seen the starfish from DC? Um, the, um... What was it called? The Suicide Squad? That's what it is. It's literally a starfish with a big eye. I don't have the, not have the card on me, and I don't have the picture. But it's a starfish with a big eye, and it's attack power of infinite. Nothing can beat it. And when you get that on the field, you're done. You don't have a card that can beat it. No magic or trap cards can beat it. It has the power of Jinzo if he can destroy both magic and trap cards. I love the cards. I love. The, I do. The classic cards. I love them. Look at that. The back, look at the back. Look at the back of that. Do you know who that is? That is Dark Magician Girl. And now the game is ruined because of these, all these pendulum summonings and all these. Oh, I have to put a card underneath my card to summon it. I, I really want to have the classic duels the way they were before. The way I, they were before when I was growing up in the 90s. I, I, I want to be able, to, I would love to have a, a duel where a guy summons a blue eyes white dragon and you've got a dark magician in the field and we're both at 4,000 life points apiece. The pot of greens, the. Spellbinding circles. I would, I'd love to have an old-fashioned Yu-Gi-Oh! duel with someone who actually knows how to play the old-school game. And I'm not talking about this Senko Solomon bullshit. I'm sorry for cursing, but I don't care for that. Yu-Gi-Oh! to me is no longer what it was before. It's dead to me now. It is. I love the character. I love these characters so much. Yugi, Seto Kaiba, Joey, Tristan, Taya, Maya, loved them all, and they were destroyed by this new generation. Oh, I'm gonna put this monster on top of this monster, and put this trap card behind it, and put this trap card on top of it. I'm like, no! Can you just fix my game and make it back the way it was before? Oh, we're trying to make it like Magic the Gathering, because Magic the Gathering is so cool. No! You're only doing it to make the new generation look good. I would love to take one person in the duel and challenge them with the old school cards, but with the new rules. What you, what you, what, what you could, for example, take that magician. 
You sacrifice two monsters to get him out on the field. He's on the field. You put a trap card. They, they, you gonna, they, you only activate it on their turn. Or imagine the trap card on your, your turn. That's what I want back. I don't like this new generation and these new duelists. How they can beat you so quickly. There's no fun in it. Oh. You look and watch one. It's only been five minutes. Yeah. Game's over. Five minutes? This is not Dragon Ball Z. Where we have to sit down and fight each other for five minutes and it's over. I want to be able to play for at least now going, damn, that was fun. You know, we had fun, shake your hand and well, fight again. Now it's like, up, oh, you lost. Bye. Where's the time gone, man? Where's the time gone? Yu Gi Oh! is such a classic game, look at it now. It's a mere shadow of itself. What a shame. I will never, before I end this video, I will never use any of the new cards. Never. I will always have these old school cards by my side. Always. Never. I mean, they look cool, don't get me wrong, they look awesome, and I have nothing against the new cards. But I won't use them in my deck. I won't. I will never use new cards in Fallen News. Never. I was born OG. I will die OG. I kind of sound like a bit of a gangster there, but you know what I'm talking about. You will never see me go into the shop and buy. Well, pretend this is a, uh, a new one. It's not, but pretend it is. You will never see me buy a new card with a white light around it and the blue tint around it. I don't care how rare it is. It wasn't for the, I wasn't like Seto Kai but I wanted the power. I wanted the cards because they meant something to me. It's not about the money or the power. It's the way you felt when you were playing as a kid. Now the game's just ruined. And I don't care for it anymore. But I will always have these cards. You know why? Because I grew up with the show in the 90s. For those of you that know what I'm, what I'm talking about, these are the classics. Forget those stupid white and blue cards. These are the classics. You can't get these anymore. Because they don't make them. Because all oh, we got to do for Vandemony, we got to get these new cards out. You've ruined it for us. Uh, Konami, you've ruined it. So thank you very much for ruining my childhood and destroying the game for me.